Basic Combinatorics Part 2. This is the designation for the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So the problem that we just did was the permutation of six objects taken four at a time. If we want to evaluate the permutation of five objects taken three at a time, we have 5 factorial divided by the number of objects minus the number of slots factorial. So this is 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 factorial. 2 factorials will cancel, so we have 5 times 3 is 20 times 3 or 60. So there are 60 permutations of 5 objects taken 3 at a time. If we are calculating the 11 objects taken 3 at a time, we could do it the same way, but it's much faster in this case just to take our 3 slots and do 11 choices for the first slot times 10 choices for the second slot times 9 choices for the third slot which is 99 times 10 which is 990 permutations for 11 objects taken 3 at a time. If we are calculating n objects taken 4 at a time we have to use the, the multiplication principle. We have n objects, so the first slot has n choices, the second slot has n minus 1 choice, the third slot has n minus 2 choices, and the fourth slot has n minus 3 choices. Now let's try them with your calculator. Obviously we cannot do the last one on the calculator, but the first two we can. The permutations of five objects taken three at a time, we would enter five into the calculator, math, probability, and two for NPR. So we have five NPR and then three enter and we get 60. Let's try the 11 P3, the permutation of 11 things taken 3 at a time. So we push in, push 11, math, arrow over to the probability, down to NPR. We get the NPR on our screen, so we have 11 NPR 3, enter, and we get 990. Let's apply these ideas. The SHS leadership class has been asked to come up with a list of ideas to improve student involvement. They came up with 12 different ideas. They were asked to give an ordered list of their top five ideas. How many different lists could they come up with? Basically what we're asking is we want the permutation of 12 ideas taken five at a time. So you can put this into your calculator to solve it, or you can use the multiplication counting principle. Three, four, we have five different ideas. Twelve choices for the first idea, eleven for the second, ten for the third, nine for the fourth, and eight for the fifth. Whether you do it in your calculator or multiply it out, we should get 95,040. Try this. If there are 14 students who want elected offices in the student body, president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, how many different ways can this be done? Combinations. What are combinations and how are they different from permutations? Combinations and permutations are very similar. The biggest difference is that 
In permutations, the order matters. In combinations, they do not. If you think about a combination lock, the order of the numbers matters. Therefore, a combination lock is really a permutation lock. NCR is a function that we use to figure combinations. A combination is a permutation with a correction for the repeated objects. Formula for the permutation was n factorial over n minus r factorial So when we combine these, we get n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. So which is which? Are the following combinations or permutations? Basically, the question you want to ask is, does order matter? In the first one, my fruit salad is a combination of apples, bananas, and grapes. Fruit salad is all mixed up together. doesn't matter whether you have the apples first or the grapes first. Therefore, this is a combination. The combination to the lock was 1, 3, 3, 7. The order very much matters on a combination lock. Therefore, this is a permutation. Picking a team of three people from a group of ten. You're picking them as a clump. Doesn't matter the order that you pick them, except for egos. So this is a combination. Picking a president, vice president, and water boy from a group of ten, it does matter which position they're in. So therefore, this is a permutation. Choosing three desserts from a menu of ten, you're picking them as a group. It's a combination. Listing your three favorite desserts in order from a menu of 10, when you put them in order and the order matters, it becomes a permutation. Counting combinations. A six-person committee is to be formed from a group of 17 students. How many different committees can be selected? We are looking for the combination of 17 students taken six at a time, which will equal 12,376. Try this number five. The Oregon Megabucks Lottery has you choose six numbers from 1 to 48. How many different lottery tickets are possible? Our final topic on combinations is subsets, or the pizza topping problem. Let's say Abby's Pizza offered a combination of up to 10 different toppings. Pepperoni, sausage, Canadian bacon, garlic, onions, green peppers, olives, tomatoes, mushrooms, and pineapple. How many pizzas can be ordered if we choose any three toppings? This would be a combination of 10 things chosen three at a time. Putting that into the calculator, and we get possible 120 different pizzas. Now let's look at it a little differently. Suppose we can choose any number of toppings from 0 to 10. In order, in order to solve this, we need to look at the problem a little bit differently. Let's look at the 10 toppings. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For each of these toppings, we have a choice. We can choose yes or no. Yes, we want pepperoni. No, we don't want sausage. No, we don't want Canadian bacon. Yes, we want garlic. No onions. No green pepper. Yes, olives. No tomatoes, mushrooms, or pineapple. So for each one of these choices, for each one of these toppings, we had two choices, yes or no. We have two choices for the pepperoni, two choices for the sausage, yes or no. So by the multiplication counting principle, we have two 
to the tenth or 1,024 different possibilities. Try this number six. Let's move to their salad bar. If they have seven different salad choices and you took equal, equal amounts of each ingredient, how many different salads could you have if you A, could have any four ingredients, or separately, B, any number of ingredients from zero to seven? And now for your amusement, the isosceles kitty has a cute nose. The answers to the triads follow this. See you in class. Here are the answers to the triads in this video.